I'm Alex Ronsley. Welcome to this week's episode of The Face Off here on the King's Broadcast Network. And we're on location along one of the many beaches and right on the waterfront, literally on the waterfront of the Georgia Strait. Over in the background there is Texada Island and we're on location because it's a special weekend. This is one of the many views that a number of the King's family will get a chance to experience this weekend as it's the annual Parents Weekend and around 30 of them expected to be in town to see the King's play two games. Friday night against the Trail Smoke Eaters, Sunday afternoon against the Coquitlam Express. It is the second meeting between the two clubs this year. The Kings played the Smokies at the BCHL Showcase and the Express back in exhibition, but no doubt a lot has changed for both sides coming into this weekend's action. Now the Kings will look a little bit different this weekend than they did last against the Alberni Valley Bulldogs. They'll be missing JJ Coleshaw from the lineup. The captain says he's injured, but already has a date to return to the lineup in mind. Yeah, I just uh, separated my, or sprained my uh, rotator cuff. Should only be maybe this weekend back in the lineup next week. Just kind of got caught up in the corner off the with a D-man and just kind of, just a bad break. Let's talk about a big couple of wins for this hockey club that were sorely in need of, of some positive momentum. You got a couple of Sundays ago to Cowich, and how big was that victory, um, you know, to get some things moving for this club? Yeah, it was huge. Um, obviously, the win in fashion that we did too is also helps, but uh, yeah, I think the boys got a good taste of winning and, and they really enjoy it, so it's carrying over here. Another change to the Kings roster this weekend will be via addition as the Kings picked up defenseman Ross Knighty midweek from the Saskatoon Blades. He's got a bit of history already with a couple of Kings on the roster but is excited to get going with the Kings here this weekend. It's awesome. I was off, off for two, like two and a half weeks. So it's great to be back on the ice. It's a great town, great guys on the team. They yeah, welcome me very well. You're not too unfamiliar with the organization by virtue of a couple of guys you already know on the roster. Just talk on those connections. Yeah, I know uh, Jeremy LeClaire played with them uh, two years at Midget for the contacts. I played with uh, Nick Gomridge last year. You must make exactly. it easy to, to, to yeah, come in really and, easy. and see guys on the team and yeah. not feel quite so on the outside. Yeah, exactly. It helped lots so because they introduced me a lot of the guys. They uh, made it really uh, helpful for me. Fans will get a chance to see you on Friday night. Uh, all things going well against the uh, Trail Smoke Eaters. Yeah. Let them know what to expect. What kind of player are you? I'm more of a stay-at-home defenseman, like to be physical in front of the nets, take the body, uh, make it hard in the corners for the team, and just make them scared, don't want to come in my corner, and just make it easy for our goaltenders. Now with Coleshaw out of the lineup, it puts a little bit of extra pressure on the remaining Fords to produce. One of the more consistent lines this season has been that of Curtis McCarrick, Nick Gomrich, and Austin Kamer. Austin Kamer is in his first year of junior hockey in BC, and he's relishing the opportunity of playing with a couple of junior hockey vets. Uh, it's been good, you know, it's, it's easy to make that transition playing with two really skilled players, so it's good to get on line with them and get some chemistry going. What's something that you kind of clued in to say that, okay, I need to develop this to, to take on a more important role moving forward? Uh, I think just keep my feet moving. There's just sometimes I kind of panic a little bit and stop moving my feet. I think always going 100 miles an hour would definitely help. Just going back to playing with uh, Curtis McCarrick and Nick Gomrich, we had them on Kings All Access this week. We kind of talked about what you bring to the line, and they were very complimentary of you. What about that chemistry works? I mean, we seem to, to see you guys pop up on the score sheet over the last couple of games. What about that line seems to work? Uh, we just really communicate well with each other and, you know, talk and practice, hang on off the ice, that kind of stuff, and then just translates over on the ice in the game. Two games this weekend for the 2014 Parents Weekend. Friday night, a 7.15 start at the Hap Parker Arena against the Trail Smoke Eaters. King's putting on a big fundraiser for Anakin Fretz as well, who was a young boy uh, in a car accident a few weeks ago here in Powell River, and uh, the family is in need of some help with some medical bills and other related expenses. So First Credit Union getting on board with the Powell River Kings and a couple of other local businesses guaranteeing a $2,000 50-50 jackpot, as well as some other fundraising activities for the game as well. Again, 7.15 face-off at the Hat Parker Arena, Kings Smokies. Sunday afternoon, it's a salute to the Kings parents this year as they'll entertain the Coquitlam Express, a 1.30 puck drop, again at the Hat Parker Arena. Both games will be live on the Kings Broadcast Network beginning half an hour prior to both games on Friday and Sunday against the Smokies and the Express. That'll do it for this week's episode of The Face Off. My name is Alex Ronsley. Make sure you join us through the weekend for the two live broadcasts, as well as Kings All Access on Monday night at 6, live on CJMP and the Kings Broadcast Network. And I'll be back with you again next Friday for another edition of The Face Off. Have a great weekend, a great week. We'll talk to you soon. Bye now.